Hey everybody, John Rain, founder of walkforvets.org, and today we are in Mineola, Texas. I'm sitting with Chris, the founder of Squatch Survival Gear. And the you know, funny story is we always talk about how walks bring people together. And me and Chris are meeting today for the first time uh, because of John Mumby, a uh, United States Army veteran who walked from Winsboro, Texas to Austin, Texas in 2021 uh, for Gulf War uh, research. And uh, we connected after the walk, or I think during the walk actually we connected and today here we are. I mean, we're sitting together and I love what these walks do. I mean, the walks bring people together, bring veterans together, bring advocates together. So uh, Chris, you'd like to tell us a little bit about yourself? and Sure, I'm, a, I'm an Army vet. I'm the owner, CEO, founder of Squatch Survival Gear. I've uh, been in the Army since 96. I got out in 2007 when uh, medical separation uh, so, you know, norm, normal stuff, you know, wear and tear on your body. We know that, infantry guy. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, PTSD, even though the VA is like, you don't have that, we've already denied you for that. And I'm like, okay, so Afghanistan and Iraq was in my imagination. <laughs> we uh, all know those stories. Yeah, so the, the thing I like about what y'all are doing is just to help with PTSD and I want everyone to get to like PTG post-traumatic growth right because as much crap that came out of um, trauma there's if you look hard enough there's some there's some good things like there are some tools that could like you may only need it one more time in your life but it can save you right or it could be the difference between life and death so I, I absolutely I just hand of God um, found you guys by accident like I found you because of John right and and I was surprised you found John because John walks so fast I mean that guy <laughs> so, <laughs> I like, walked 26 miles in the other day and it was like that yeah, we were running the whole time he, he's got he's got an amazing pace um, I think I was coming up to the Canton area for for a gun show and I stopped at a gas station. I got a picture of it on the social media. I stopped at a gas station. I'm like, I need to grab something to eat. I need to get something to drink. And I'm, I'm checking out at the register and I turn around and the little, the little local newspaper is running an article on him, right? So it's a big picture of him. I'm like, oh, that's, that's really cool. Wow, somebody's out there doing that. Turn around and walk out and he's standing over there, like, just like, and I'm like, look, look back at the paper. And I'm like, so I go over there and I talk to him that, like, oh, what, what are you wearing? And he's, I can't remember what ruck he was wearing. Old school, probably. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. So I was like, we can get to talking to him. He's an 82nd guy like me. So I'm like, I can't have you wearing that military issue like no so I just went back to the truck I grabbed the navy blue plaque that's it was the rock ape it's the only one I had in in my truck at the time and I just gave it to him and I was like dude wear this your body will thank you mm -hmm. and it's you've worn army packs and um we're, they leave a little bit of a print on you yes <laughs> and not in a good way so no no uh, from jumping and rucking, my spine is like curved mm -hmm. in two different directions. I think I had an MRI a few years ago, and uh, the lady didn't even know it was in the military. And when she, after she did the MRI, she came out and she goes, "You're an infantry, weren't you?" And I was like, "How'd you know that?" She's like, "It's all over your back." Yeah, it's all over your back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I originally got into this because I was like, "Well, I want every grunt." to wear a pack that's that's comfortable. So you're an infantry guy, you've probably heard this, like ounces add up to pounds, pounds add up to, um, ounces add to pounds, pounds equals fatigue, mm -hmm. right? Like that's just kind of the way it goes. So the more weight you add, well, what I didn't know was comfort enhances your endurance. Right, if you're if you're wearing the weight a little better and the pad set sits on you, you you increase your endurance because your body's 
not holding stuff down. And the way I explain it to people is your muscles are really great at recovery, right? Use them every day. They're like, hey, this much energy, I can take that. Your connective tissues, they aren't. All those little ligaments and tendons that support your spine, all the fascia, when that stuff gets inflamed, it takes a really, really long time for you to recover. Right. And um, I'm sure that's, you know that. So, and then once the recovery process starts, your body's like, no, 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 we need to recover in this area, mm -hmm. right? So then that hurts you and your ability to perform. So it's kind of like you were saying, like, hey, I take the rock off for a week. My body's like, no, 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 I don't want to go back, mm -hmm. right? So that's what that that's what's going on. All those little itty bitty areas are finally getting blood back to them. They're finally starting to recover. And your, your body's like, no, you need to finish this process before you do anything. And my goal is let's create a pack that when you wear it, it sits on you in such a way that your, your muscles are actually holding the weight. And your muscles are doing what they're supposed to be doing, right. not your connective tissues. The army in its infinite wisdom for us grunts they don't care. Mm, no. Just get there. Yeah, it's like, get there, suck up the pain, go. Well, I Motrin and water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get, a, get you a good shot of vitamin M, chase that with 40 <laughs> ounces of water, go. <clears throat> um, so all that we put into these packs. So John right now, and I've we've done a lot of packs for the tactical side, the, the special community, both various places in the world we've done special contracts for them um got an email recently from a guy who just retired another american made pack um for a company up in washington he was like i will never wear that pack again because of the way y'all feels <clears throat> which makes me f feel great because he just finished with um the q course okay so my goal is to help you walk at your pace but then help you recover right and you when john says hey i put 2000 miles in that rocket pack and and he's like i got one little complaint i'm like okay that's a lot better than uh she's totally wiped out the whole time which right. is what we want to avoid right um we make all of our stuff in america because there's really really important to get away from the Chinese even. Mm -hmm. um, because there's nobody I'd say nobody there's like three companies right now that are actually making their packs from start to finish in the United States um, doesn't mean that there aren't some great pack companies out there but I didn't go fight in two wars to put right. non-Americans to work gotcha. if that makes sense it definitely does so, <laughs> you run for president anytime soon? <laughs> I <laughs> no, we'll I, for I, don't, conversation. I don't wish that on anyone. Um, and then the other part of that was I didn't want to build a business that one day is successful and everybody knows and and it's it's funding countries that don't like our values. That those are big things for me. Um, and then to be able to use that to help my own community. Um, I have this fight with the VA over stuff. My wife is like, hey, you should apply for this. And I'm like, but I have to do this bureaucratic dance with them that's endless. Right. And it's draining. And it's stressful. And it makes every guy that served agitated. Right? Because you're like, this shouldn't be this hard. Why are you hiding behind your paperwork? Mm. Right? So... I used to, t like I tell my wife, I'm like, you know, I'm thankful to all the Vietnam veterans because when we started coming back, we didn't get their treatment. You know, starting from the first Gulf War, those guys didn't come back to what the Vietnam vet guys came back to. But I also understand them now having to deal with the VA now for like 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. It's like... I understand how they're agitated, how they feel like, hey, you're my country. I did everything you asked me to do, and you're breaking faith, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I, I mean, I that's mean, a story here from time, time, time and time again. I mean, yeah, 
They, you, you can't go um, talk with a Vietnam veteran uh, that I, I've never met one that actually had a great story from start to finish. I mean, it, it doesn't exist. It yeah. doesn't exist. So I, I'd like to see, you know, for us, Global War on Terrorism, Cats, and everybody after us, they did a really good job of making sure we didn't receive the welcome home that they got. But I think it's on our generation to make sure that everybody that comes after us has an easier time right. with the bureaucracy. Right. Um, I agree with that. I agree with that. So. So you have this awesome pack over here. Yep. This uh, is the grass man. The grass man. Uh, it comes in the favorite infantry color. Uh, they've, they've retired OD green. It is now officially Ranger green. Ranger Green. So uh, I'll be trekking uh, 4,150 miles in that pack. Oh, yeah. Now, I will say on good days, uh, hopefully my back is empty. <laughs> but um, no, I, uh, I am going to wear that pack as much as I possibly can endure, um, taking a break here and there. But um, yeah, I love it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I don't know how many more years of this I have in me. Yeah. Um, but I have some good folks that are going to be a part of this mission that are going to be walking uh, with me. And anybody that, whether you're doing something crazy like this, walking across the country, walking across your state, walking across your town, whether you go out hiking uh, on, a, on a regular basis, definitely go check out their website. Um, you heard it. I mean, everything's made in America. Um, and I mean, and every part, every part, thread, cord, zipper, buckle, webbing, and every part. Chris is here on behalf of himself, his service, his company, um, and, and donating us. And, you know, so that speaks volumes as well when it comes to supporting missions. Uh, we've had support on several of our walks across the United States, and uh, this is the first time that uh, a pack will be uh, will be a sponsor. So uh, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for Squatch Survival Gear. And I look forward to testing this out in every different direction, storm that comes my way. <laughs> well, that's why we put the severe weather cover in there. There you go. And um, we brought you a bunch of reflective stuff from our, from our partner company, Jogalite just to kind of keep you guys safe on the road. Awesome. Um, a lot of y'all out there in the veteran community are familiar with the power belt. Um, we were recently dropped by AFES for another company, but it is it is what it is. It's uh, the best reflective material on the market. You will get seen at about 400 feet. Okay, wow. Um, and it will reflect all forms of light like a squatch patch right there so if you do something silly like i'm really tired and i set my ruck down and it kind of just rolls a little bit down a hill not saying that that's ever happened to me um, <laughs> but if you need to find it and it'll reflect the ir too okay see like hey push comes a shove and part of the reason i got into this was People get lost all the time if you watch Missing 411. And there are so many of these little products like this. Like if you get off the road or slide down a, a ravine, got like, you don't want that to happen. But I mean, up near our our uh, production facility, it rained so hard the road collapsed. Oh. Part of it slid down into the lake. Um, and part of the hill slid down onto the, you know, but those things happen. We want somebody to be able to find you quickly because it's it's about how fast can you get help right i got something else coming for your team um i'll get it to you a little closer to when you guys step off um but i got some medical gear coming awesome so awesome that'll be that'll be from refuge medical awesome so i've got to talk to them about building you a little kit and then I'll fund it and I'll donate that to you. Awesome. I definitely do appreciate it. 
And I believe you're probably going to end up walking with us, huh? Oh, oh. did you just rope me into that? Yeah, but you're going to have to go at my pace, and I'm a broke down old man. So Chris is actually coming from San Antonio, and we will be walking through San Antonio. I do not have that date yet because i got to see what pace we're moving at uh, beginning October 1st. So October 1st, we're starting in Key West. It's uh, PTSD Warriors Walk, corner to corner. We're actually going to be walking... Uh, Highway 1 to 41 to 90, 98, walking to San Diego, California, where we will be uh, honoring Stephen Osborne, United States Marine Corps uh, combat veteran who took his own life uh, March 2022. Uh, we will be presenting his son, David Osborne, with our mission flag from Flags of Honor Escorts. We've been carrying that flag now, I believe, for almost three years. It has been in well over 30 states. It has many miles on it. It's been held by gold star spouses, families of 22, um, just anybody, uh, first responders, police, mayors, everybody. So, and then we'll be uh, trekking up to Forks, Washington, where we will complete the corner to corner and it's for PTSD. And so like oftentimes PTSD backs people into a corner. So that's why we named it corner to corner. We want to bring veterans, first responders. Let's be real, PTSD does not only impact the veteran community, it impacts everybody, everybody out there. Whether you're in a car accident, um, I actually talked with somebody the other day, uh, not a veteran, uh, supports our mission. Uh, they lost their child uh, in a car accident uh, that was sitting in the back seat. And to see somebody still driving a vehicle after something like that happening, it's tremendous to me, but it, it took a lot of work. And so our mission is to raise awareness to PTSD, to hopefully get people out there to be a part of our mission, walking, supporting. So whether if you deal with PTSD, if you're an advocate, or you just wanna be out there and, and supporting the mission, uh, you can look us up at walkforvets.org. We're on most social media platforms and, uh, Come out and walk with us. Be a part of it. Uh, buy a t-shirt. T-shirts will be launching later today. And, nice. Uh, Got to get one of them. Yeah. So. Uh, and we'll Chris, be sharing everything. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate My you. My pleasure. And uh, we'll be definitely uh, pushing out Swatch Survival Gear. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we grow together. That's how we do this. So Amen. we support one another. So thanks, everybody, for watching this. I know it was a little lengthy, but, hey, listen, when you got something to say, you got to say it. So love y'all.